welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Cincinnati Bass League tournament out on uh, Williamstown Lake. Once again, haven't been to this lake in so long. Super excited. Was very excited to go back to this lake. Uh, got used to fish a ton when I first started fishing. So let's see how I did. Lake super clean. First one. Scooping. There we go, that's already super muddy. Super dirty. Oh, look at that. A little one. I think he's 12, so Let's see if he's he matches me back yet. I think he's 12. I don't know if it's 12 inch limit or 14s. Nope, I ain't 12. I ain't 12. Yeah, probably gonna have to stop about the six pound amount of grass we have here. I'm gonna get the big water, getting this out of it. Jesus. Oh. Just catching a bunch of little ones today. You ever want to sign that you're not near big ones? You catch a bunch of little ones, usually it's a telltale sign. <laughs> Oh, this fish. Ooh, it's a big one. It's a good one. Ugh. 
Oh, moved her again. Oh. There she is. Oh. Keeper. He's 12. Should be. He should be 12. Fuck yeah. Sorry, little bud. Bird keeper. So, the dinks were out today. Um, two things. We almost time usually there would be that grassy. They said it happened like last year. They got all that grass in, and uh, didn't know that. But uh, so I tried to change how I was fishing um, some of the baits. I knew they had some grass, but not as much as they did. So I did change some baits around, playing around some different things. And then two, I didn't know they had that many 10 inch, 11 inch, nine inch bass in that lake. I don't ever remember being that many small bass in that lake. Um, so that lake's gonna be really good in about three or four years when all those little 10 inches are 13, 14, 15. So, but uh, I'm gonna go up with three keepers. So I'm gonna show you the two combos that I'll be able to at least catch keepers on. So the first one, um, which was pretty much what I caught probably 95 of my fish today were on the Dobbins Cadent 712. It's a seven foot one medium light. It's my main drop shot rod, um, small swim bait rod, but I mainly use it for drop shotting. It's got a 3000 Shimano Maribel on there, a 10 pound suffix braid to a six pound sunlight sniper. I like the six because you can do the drop shot dirt trick and put your knot underneath the hook so it keeps your hook uh, horizontal with the water at all times. Um, but the big thing with this combo is an unboxing we did a few months back of a hook. I'm gonna show you again now what's made it possible for me to drop shot this grass and still catch fish. So you can use any kind of drop shot hook, but to me, when you're fishing grass, the owner drop shot offset hook is the best hook for flipping in the grass. Um, I know they make like a mini version of like a flipping hook now. I haven't had a ton of luck with that. That guy, I've always had really good luck. I know technically the other hook, you can uh, keep it in the plastic, but for what I do and how I fish and how my plastics are set up, that works better. I'm able to lay that hook point on top of my bait and do a mini tech expose in that plastic. So it's Enough hooks in the plastic that I can flip around cover. Um, would be probably a little bit better if I use a pointy nose drop shot bait. I didn't, I used a more of like a uh, squared off nose. Um, but overall, that hook helped me a lot to be able to flip into the grass. And I was using cylinder weights. I, honestly, this grass, you can get through it pretty easy. I was just using quarters. Um, I definitely should have kept, I, I told myself a couple times to rig up a more heavier setup. Um, because I have a 713 Caden, and I should have should have rigged that one up for like a bigger worm or a bigger creature, but oh well. But this came out catching that uh, two and a half pounder, and the grass, the sixth, I mean, it dug me in that grass. I was, I was waiting for this line to snap. Um, I got the fish in, um, but the line was super frayed from being in the grass and him dogging me in the grass. Any bigger, if it was a four or five pounder, I'd probably not have caught the fish. 
I try my best to keep him um, easy on him and not pull him too hard. But after that, I had to redo my leader, and then eventually I broke off on some rocks. But uh, Dobbins gained 712. And then the other combo I caught Keeper Fish on was the Chatterbait combo. That Dobbins Champion 733. I love it, love it more. Um, I was throwing a half ounce all day. I wish I would want three eighths, but I got a lot of bites pulling the swim jig or the, the chatterbait out of grass. This had enough power to pop it out, but by the time I popped it and started reeling, the half ounce was back in the grass. So I just don't have a lot of three eighths. I, like I said, the grass fishing is not like what they had. It's not what I traditionally fish. So kind of inexperienced on that. Going to have to get some three eighths just for the safe side. But uh, yeah, it did great. Caught the two little ones. Um, I probably got five or six more bites. And who knows, they were big, they were warm mouths, who knows. But that's on that Shimano Corrado 70. Um, remember that's that has the upgraded bearings in it from high speed spool bearings, XCRs. Um, so it makes that reel just cast like it's just not even, just like a super simple um, 16 pound Sunlight Sniper. But that's what got the two smaller keepers about the end of the day. Those two last keepers were caught in the last half hour. So that was it. Just a bunch of dinks, three keepers, no win, no dub yet, but oh well. Still a whole lot of fun. If you would like to support the companies that support me, all their contact information will be in the description. But until then, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.